Why is it not? Why are we not displaying? Three, there we go. I haven't had too many opportunities to use my voice thing, so I, I gotta, you know, I gotta take my opportunities where they where they are. Yo. Wah. Wait. Wait. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Huh. It seems, it seems like, like six. six. Echo, Echo is, is not, not happening, happening as, as much. much. Not as much as like one. Like that echo is very echoey. What I should do is uh, reset some of these. Give me a second. I may have messed up a couple of them. Um, no, not mixer. This part. Big echo. Le can I? Where's? Is there not a reset button? Hmm. Okay. This is clearly something I'm gonna have to figure out later. Six is apparently tank. Hello. We're in a tank right now, so if I... Oh, okay. I thought it was an auditorium. Hmm. On the phone. Oh, there's different settings for megaphone. What's overdrive? Overdrive. Oh, God. Hello? Tweet, tweet. What is tweet? Hello? What is happening? This is not okay. All right, all right, we're, 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 we're done playing with that. Uh, I mean work. No rest for the wicked, how else will I buy my Funko Pops? What are you using, voice mod or morph box? I'm using a Go XLR. I'm using, I'm, I'm using the, the, the big money toy. <laughs> uh, where did I leave myself? Oh, that's right. I have to fight this guy, and he is, like, really tough. Oh my god, that was intense. Ouch! What is this business I have to do, contend with? Okay. Kind of forget how to play this game. Oh, that was that was brutal. Duck beer. Cures fear. Okay. Suit repair. We're good on that. I need health. Where is my health kits? Sun-dried tomato jerky. Yum. Uh, oh, there's my health kits. I know there's a quick button, but I'm not sure what it is. Hardware. Yeah. Uh, I have not had very good um, experiences, historically speaking, with uh, software voice modulators. I've tried to use them and then I've just experienced awful, awful audio problems every single time. Either I come in with a massive delay or I come in with like weird extra stuff going on and it sounds crackly and horrible and it's just a nightmare. So um, I was perusing the Facebook marketplace, which is a pretty good, um, you know, it's a pr pretty good way of picking some stuff up for um, a good price. I tend to get a lot of my board games from Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I saw that someone was selling a Go XLR for about $200 cheaper than its uh, retail price. Biohazard waste. I don't think I want that, do I? So uh, that's why I picked it up. Oops. 
and I think it was I think it's been worth it and the the sound like just the the mixing options for it alone are really nice like I can turn the game down without having to tweak much else um you guys will never hear chrome again so you'll never hear like um a, a facebook message for instance in, in case i'm being contacted it's also got options in case i want to go back to doing uh two two pc streaming which i don't do anymore but i, I could if I do VR streaming again, I might want to try and set up uh, two PC streaming again. Hello, bot. Psychotronics is the opposite of safe, Morgan. What are you after? Someone's helping you. Is it Michaela? Elazar? I can eavesdrop on your brother's messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Gut. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. There's good stuff down there. Something tells me going down there is not advised. So I'm going to save now. Hope you can customize the LEDs and presets. I should be able to, yeah. Petri dish sample. Uh, this seems like something I want to get rid, like, use in a, um, a thingy. A rematerializer. What do you want to, want to call it? I gotta get rid of something. I've got a lot of stuff on me. Got some Typhon lures. What do you mean by... Oh, you mean the LEDs and presets? I can, yeah. Um, I can... I can... I, I Like, I have knobs, so I can, like, change some of the, uh... Some of the, like very surface level settings of some of the voice stuff and then the sound stuff is like i also i haven't really made use of it but i do also have a, a soundboard which, which i've put to good use here <laughs> basically i've not used it at all Okay, so note to self, there's good stuff down here, but I need to, uh, I need to be able to recycle what I've got already. That didn't sound good. Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh, I see. Yeah, I see you. Excuse me? Neither of you? No? Really? Now I got bully flashbacks from that bill. <laughs> Faust, you m missed, I think, both streams. What was that? Where I was, like, just harassed by a fire alarm that would just not go away. Oh no. Is it another one of those big lads? Big lad! Come in! Come in for me, bud!
Bully is so underappreciated. I have never played it. I've heard endless praise for it. But I've never played it. Wouldn't mind playing it. So many games, guys. There's so many games. And, like, I, I have such broad tastes. I love games. Like, I really do love video games. It's such a stupid thing to say. I don't know why, but I, I feel, like, weird and cringy when I say it. But, like, I, I really do love games. But there's just so many of them. <laughs> and I want to, like, you know, there's always these, like, little hit titles that... You know, I hear it's like, oh yeah, Bully is amazing. Uh, Dishonored, amazing. Oh my god. And there's new games every day, and they're all, um, they're all fantastic. You know, very uh, just a ridiculous number of hits these days. They just keep coming, and they don't stop coming. Hit to the back streets. Hit the, hit the road run. I I don't know. I don't know. Hit the ground run, and you, you got it. You get it. It's a little bit overwhelming, especially as, like, a creator. Like, a, some kind of content creator. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I don't know where the line is. Like, where do I stop? What games do I cover? But you know what's really frustrating a little bit? Is not just what games do I cover because I like them. Oh. Don't spook me like that. What games do I cover because... Why... Why are we... Why are we spooking right now? What's with the spooky sounds? Did I miss something important? Um, what games do I cover because I think that they're gonna help my popularity or channel? It's so stupid. Um, I hate that I have to do that. I wish I could just like show off whatever. I'm pretty proud of what I just did there. Do I have a flashlight? So here's another uh, case of I need leverage. I guess I could use a, a graviton grenade or whatever it's called. But I don't think I have one. This is a really good situation to use one though like look at all the stuff that's here ss13 yeah i'd love to do ss13 everything is re very home alone best i can do without saying gta game made by rockstar the people who made gta it's like gta in boarding school environment instead of gangs there are cliques um do i have a oh i do have a recycler Okay, I'm gonna do this. Should have dropped a bunch of my extra crap on the floor and recycled it. Is that it actually? There's not a lot in here. You know what? I want my recycler back. You gotta find those niche games that are still popular do for the bar uh, bar for entry. Yeah, I wanna do Kenshi as well. That's another good that's a great example. Is really just the glue ammo in there? I don't think I need glue ammo that badly. What is this? 
Psychoscope. Mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing Neuro Mods. Oh heck yeah, I like that synth synth base there. So awkward. I mean, yeah, hundred percent. One of the more it, it Kenshi really is kind of like the three D uh, Dwarf Fortress. It really is in many ways. Warts and all. And I love it, but uh, yeah, finding time to get good at it and actually explore its depth is very intimidating. Um, where could one... Where Where is this in, install? Data? Status? How do I... Is it N I have to press? No. No. I don't want that. Well, how do I install um, stuff? I think this interface could use some work if I'm being honest. Mimpo's only now just getting the psychoscope. I guess I didn't sleep through as much as I thought I had. Finding the gravity chamber room. Guys, how do I install... Uh, stuff. Oh, here we go. Suit chipsets. There we go. There we go. I need more ammo. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we're using the scope. Okay. <laughs> More specimens required. I don't like how how the psychoscope affects your sound so much. That is a lot of affecting your sound. <laughs> also I also love Kenshi, it's just so amazing on so many levels. I uh I'm just gonna wait. 
Uh, I really enjoy Kenshi. I, I would I, I tried streaming it once, but it's so dull to actually watch. It's a, the kind of game you need to like play for hours and then like highlight in a video. I don't know why we had to do it that way, but okay. Mimic matter. Present to view available abilities. Morph. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Uses two psi per second. Excuse me? Is this what you guys meant by uh, coffee cup powers? Psy training. Some powers are triggered instantly by pressing mouse 2. Some powers are targeted. To stop time and enter Psy targeting mode, press and hold mouse 2. Use mouse to aim. Release mouse 2. Jesus, that's a lot. Oh, we prop hunt mode now. Oh, that uses up our, our Psy power. Okay. Fun. F for one of these the endings now that you took. Oh no, really? Did, are we in bad locked into bad ending? I don't know if I would have taken it if had I known that, but I guess y'all would just want me to take the teacup, the the cup mode anyway. Psychoscope required beyond this point. And also, you just can't go hog wild with all of them? Okay. I'm hoping Kevbo is correct about this. I see you've already figured out how to use your psychoscope. All right, Morgan, I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. I'm sending you the code to a safe in Director Kelstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. I goofed. Kev is right. You take too many. Alright, how many is too many? I want to become anti-rads. I want to become... P 
kills. I love this for me. Uh, I need more ammo for sure. I really like some of the animations in this game. I also appreciate that we just have a vision now to see what what's a mimic and what's not. So if you suspect something is, then you're you're good. Transfer junk. It's also let's get rid of. It. I'm sorry, guys. The meme was funny and all, but um, get rid of one of our glue guns. Okay. Two is the safe way to go. Take three turrets. If you take three turrets, we'll see you as an alien, by the way. So take two. Okay. What better defense against radiation than to become the pills that cure it, right? My logic exactly. Stool! No one will ever suspect that I am Stool Bimple. Like Fellow said, one of the biggest re issues with Typhon powers is that the more you take and the more Typhon you become, the more the turrets will start to target you. in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. Okay. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. So what you're telling me is I can take one more power guilt-free. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of nearby. Mimic slightly more complex machines such as turrets. Yo, you could become a turret. Manipulate technology and objects at a distance. Energy powers. Um, if chat was going to recommend one more power, which one would you recommend? I'm happy to entertain just about anything. Don't really know where I'm going, by the way. I know I'm supposed to be going to the foyer. That pop-in, though. I don't know why pop-in is such a difficult problem to solve. You can become a turret and you have infinite ammo while you are one. If they didn't patch that since I last played. Calvino, what did you do to my conference room? Eh? What? Oh, 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 yes. I was uh, just about to quit. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. I'm really liking this game. 
it's it's just goofy fun. I appreciate that the uh, the enemies are kind of tough. Oh, can I become someone so I can use their fingerprint? Ammo. The size low. Consume a Psy Hypo to restore Psy points. Oh, I thought it just came back naturally. What is a Psy Hypo? Remote Minip or Phantom Shift. Best get a utility since you won't be going deep into it. One is telekinesis, the other is like a teleport dash. Okay. Kind of like teleport dash. That sounds like fun. Is there a flashlight that I'm not using? Because things feel very dark right now. You done spooked me. You done did it. <laughs> Does this not count, really? Thank you. V is flashlight. I don't know why. They done did spook me. I can't believe it, honestly. Just the two of them. They can help them pull up the shirt. Just the two of them. You can sort of replace the telekinesis power with a mundane tool, but it's not as useful and it takes up use inventory space. Welcome back. I. Boo. I got spooked. It's got to be like one of our first spooks in this entire playthrough. Get ready for me to pull out that scope basically every time there's anything. I guess I could have turned off the power. I don't think I want to turn off the power now, though. Good day. More ammo, please. Oh, no more ammo. Okay. Well, you know what? Give me a med kit. Okay. We're good. Ow. I walked, uh, walked a little bit too close to the sun there, unfortunately. How, how long ago was this? When it turns green, touch it. It are you, are you kidding me? I do not have time to play sing along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. <sighs> 
Um. Okay, save. I forgot how often you have to save in here. Not feeling so hot, might leave soon. Oh no. I'm sorry. What's what's up? What's going down? Do you love how I uh managed to die just before I was done with this place completely. And just after l looking at the um, turn off the power button as well. That's really funny. What's the... Okay, E. There you go. Really wanted to, like, pray more, but every time I play it, I just wish I were playing Bioshock or even System Shock 2. Much better weaponry. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, like, if you've already played those games a bazillion times, then this is nice, you know? What is that? Something, something bad in there. Something far from God is in that container. I, I really should, um, I've got a ton of Neuromods. I should do some more upgrading. Uh, I kind of wouldn't mind doing, like, more upgrade, like, Gunsmith. Upgrade security weapons beyond, um, modification one. Upgrade your trans star uniform with extra inventory space. That could be pretty nice, actually. Break down equipment in your inventory into spare parts and recover spare parts from destroyed operators. Is this worth it, guys? Because this sounds really good. It feels more like SS3 than any Bioshock game. Yeah, you know what? Um, Flavor-wise, I do think that Prey is closer to System Shock. Genre-wise, I don't know. I haven't played too much of the System Shock games, but System Shock feels way more horror than Prey. I, I appreciate the flavor and uh, gameplay of Bioshock, but I can understand, like, after System Shock, it feels like maybe um, a sidestep. Uh, stealth. Longer to detect you when you were sneaking. I kind of like this. I could, I could definitely use something like that. Kind of wouldn't mind hacking three. Increase your psi pool. Uh, I don't think I want that necessarily. We have um, Kinetic Blast available to us. I'm assuming that's not great. Increase recycling yield by 20%. That could be nice. Use of weapon upgrade kits to upgrade non-standard tech weapons beyond modification 1. Uh, this, this seems pretty nice too. Fix broken turrets. I did kind of want to get into fixing. 
So I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, repair two. Let me actually check this. Yeah, I have enough. I'm going to get repair two. And, um, oh, it won't let me get it now. Ugh, I guess my math sucks. I was going to get repair two and hacking three. How useful that dismantling skill is. No, ask, no, no, no worries. Huge appeal of SS2 and Bioshock 1 and 2 is that the weaponry has a much more variability. Uh, one of my favorite things in Bioshock... Bioshock games were the only games I actually ever made use of traps. Which I thought was kind of impressive. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of traps or, like, luring enemies, but, like, the way you, you, uh fought big daddies in that game you really uh had to be a bit more methodical because they were they're they tend to be pretty tough i'm sure someone's gonna say well they weren't tough because the game is easy and get good nerd but you know um i found them to be pretty be pretty challenging Um, guys, is there a Nero, is there, a, is there a, like, Psy mod I can take that, uh, lets me hack turrets from afar? What is happening? I feel like there's an enemy nearby, but I am not perceiving them. Oh, they're there. There we go. Traps and games are either overpowered or utterly useless, no in between. Set up sticky nades or keep track of where oil or water was. There was legit strat involved in BS, especially on harder modes. Every battle became a puzzle. Yeah, I uh, I really enjoy the the setting up traps. Like you could really like you got to know the environment in Bioshock. I almost died just now. Maybe um, you got to know the environments so that you could use them to fight your battles rather than just like shoot. Not that shoot wasn't bad. Shoot was good in Bioshock. I enjoyed shoot, but I also enjoyed like wire traps, turrets, you know, like there was reasons to use that stuff. So we can repair this now. Well, we should hack it first. Ugh. No! Also, the bots, hacking bots in uh, Bioshock was also a thing. I Now that I have this, um, oh, that was a nice little thing. Uh, now that I have this psychoscope, I'm, I'm starting to get comfortable with this game. Ooh, a giblet! I love giblets. No, for real, why, why is the music being all creepy and weird right now?
Warning, I've sealed several mimics inside. Two casualties, so maybe as many as eight mimics. My favorite big daddy trap was to find an oil barrel or gas tank, spray it with sticky nades or proximity rivets, and then telekinesis hurl it at the big, big daddy. Oh, that's actually really cool. I, I don't think I ever did that. All right, we're going to save, and I'm going to... We're going to do this. Oh, God! No! Why did they die? Why did they die? I keep thinking it's the mouse. Uh, that's kind of the point. No, I don't want to watch a high octane game when I'm about to go to sleep. I I think Forgotten City for the third segment might be a little too snoozy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of like, like, I, I've always thought that the third segment should be reserved for, like, slower and methodical rather than just, like, like, atmospheric. Atmospheric should be, is the word I would apply to third segment. I, I, I take, uh, you know, I, I, I'm hearing what you're saying. Maybe, like, it might be that Thursday is a better day for uh, Forgotten City. Volunteers transcends us are irredeemable sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither, neither judge nor uh, jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. Quick coffee break in there. Read the file on 13 if you need assurance. It's locked in the extraction lab. I'm an idiot. I managed to lock my morgue key card in the morgue. Kelstrup thinks I'm an imbecile as it is. Have any ideas? Oh, yeah? What's happening with uh, Corey Richards here? He does not look okay. Silence pistol? Yo, did, is this a different weapon? No, it's the same. Guys, what do you- what do- what do people think about Deus Ex? Uh oh, pimple messed up. You gotta be kidding me. Bimple smashes into walls during the hacking minigame, not realizing he cuts the remaining time. Man, the last save is just before I did all that mimic garbage. Oh, never mind. I enjoy Kev Bo's pain. <laughs> uh, 
drink. It's good for you. Stay hydrated. You need it. Water. Good for you. Drink the water. I love every single Deus Ex game, including the jank fest that is Invisible War. Oh, wow. A real fan. I hate that he gets to get a shot off like that. Also, what the hell did he do? What did he hit? Oh, god damn. My neighbors are gonna think I have a dumb cat in here. What is, like, launching a, a like, fire? Oh, I didn't realize we could shoot those. Where did he go? Uh, open worlds are so overrated. Uh, what are you talking about? Are you talking about the Deus Ex games? Man. Uh-oh. Oh, no new data? We're done? I guess we could leave that guy. We don't need to kill him. Plenty of other phantoms we're gonna have to kill. Hello, Doctor you. you can go nearly everywhere. Um, I haven't played too much Deus Ex to speak of. Very, very little. I played a little bit of the original. My dad was a huge fan, and I would watch him play. So I've seen quite a lot of it, but I would not remember any of it. Labs B. Uh, that was an interesting little bit of conveyance there. We're, like, alerting everyone here. Can I not get over there now? Kind of not an open world, but an illusion of one in that case. Yeah, I mean, um, as, as I... Oh my god. As I understand it, Deus Ex games are not really open world so much as they are branching paths. Branching decisions. Like, your decisions matter, you know? That's what I'm saying. 
Look at all the notes everywhere. Yo, how many phantoms do we really need, though? How do I lock this door? That was weird. Kind of not a... Re read the note. It won't let me. I, I'm just picking them. Oh, I see. Not a mimic. Oh, I see. Not a mimic. Not a mimic. Cute. Not a mimic. Question. Um, If one of these was a mimic, would it actually have a note on it that says mimic? I really appreciate, like, little environmental storytelling like that. That thing there is apparently a mimic. Does it have a note on it saying a mimic? I don't see a note on it, so... Electrical junction. Literally can go anywhere in Postal 4, but it's still an immersive sim. I don't know what an immersive sim is. I'm gonna be honest. Can I slip in here, do you think? Yeah, actually. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, buddy. You're still alive, though. Huh. Man, you gotta save a lot in this game. Doing immersive sim and open world sandbox is just the level of detail put into it and how much certain fans like it. Also, stealth. I find that that's really just the, the only difference is that you have the ability to stealth. That it, And here's the major distinction. If you can only stealth, then it's a stealth game. But if you can run and gun and stealth... Then it's an immersive, immersive sim. Isn't it fascinating? There's something almost angelic about those golden films. Null wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. Frozen light. The typhoon wave it out of the thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories. Solid answers. Not yet. I wish you were with me, Morgan. Not the way you are now. The way you used to be. I know we could tackle this together. Like old times. Time to place your bets on how this actually works. My money is on two. Hallucinogenic field mimics project a field that causes observers to think they see the object's pocket dimension mimic swaps places with the object in a parallel universe stays connected via wormhole transmutation mimic configures its atoms and molecules while retaining its own subjective consciousness. Pilgrimage to the uh, autarky of the domed arrival arrived with the uh, last drop. Let me know if you you'd like a download. The caves are all handcrafted. 
Oh, I see. This is um, some D&D &D thing. Big game world where you can go nearly anywhere and interact with most things. Play Control Alt Ego. I do want to play Control Alt Ego, but I want to wait for a sale because I am a scum like that. Even a even a twenty percent sale would do me. I just been like spent way too much money. What is this? What is, what is this business? Would that stuff hurt me? You're about to get the telekinesis gun. I've loaded another nightlight as requested. Up the psycholuminescence. This time the Typhon ought to follow the lure like an imprinted the duckling. Asteroid Fragment. Ah, uh, that's enough for hacking two. Or, sorry, three. Let's get that. No need for self-deprecation, you pay what you're willing. Devs don't actually lose money, they just gain less. Potential revenue losses, BS mind games. Well, I'm not gonna be vitriolic about it. It's It really is just I can't. Like, I, I buy a lot of games and I have to save where I can. And I, I do feel a little bit bad about that. I'm not saying you're being vitriolic, Neville, I'm just, uh, that's, you know. Oh, what? Oh, heck. Heck and darn. Man! Kind of hate panic fighting like that. I need the bigger inventory perk. Fair enough. Well, this was a pretty forgiving uh, quick save. Tell you what, I'll get it right now instead of the uh, hacking. How about that? Where is it? Extra inventory space and allow installation of two additional chipsets. There you go. Can't tell me I don't listen to chat. That kind of hurts my eyes. I, I thought I had to turn it off. How do I get in there? So is that the telekinesis gun? Or is that just the grenade I got?
Hey, sorry, excuse me? I had half my health bar left. What, what exactly happened there? You, look, you took Typhon mods. <sighs> this specific combat is kind of frustrating me. Mostly because I see a turret right there that I would love to just, like, have that handle everything I'm doing, but I can't. That's kind of annoying. Cool. I don't like that stealth has been taken away from me as an option in this scenario. You know what? Let's, um... Can be thrown or attached to surface. Let's use this. Typhon lure. Okay, that worked a lot better, didn't it? Is there, there's like no point in repairing this turret right now, is there? I did repair a turret, and I just don't know where, like, how far that uh, ago that is. in the sarcophagus suicide watch update can't make out what he's saying he's made no attempt to hurt himself i think we've gotten just about all we can get out of uh 37 by talking i want you to schedule surgery when the love how bimple accidentally set fire to the oil you're supposed to kill those typhon with after he killed them saw a thumbnail of a video called can i survive 100 days in hardcore skyrim yeah yeah Just stay at home, nerd. <laughs> Just uh, work on the backyard. There's a bunch of stuff in there that I can't get to. Also, I have a bunch of weapon mods or upgrades and I haven't been using them. Um, can we upgrade this lad? We can. Range, reload speed. Reload speed might be nice. Magazine capacity could be cool. Ah, I feel like accuracy would be kind of nice. Let's do that. This is the one I was using, right? Yeah. I'm surprised you can't upgrade the wrench. These games are usually all about making your melee weapon, like, stupidly good for some reason. You know, there's actually very good reasons why I should, uh, fix this turret. Uh, 
<laughs> Spiffing Brit. Why is there like a weird black triangle in the bottom right corner of the on most of the thumbnails lately? I just noticed. I don't know. I I hate that he's able to do that. That's really annoying. So the turret did not really take care of this guy as flawlessly as one would want. I know they're all downstairs. I'll take care of them in a minute. I guess there's the turret right there that I fixed before, but then I died, so I had to load the save again. Somewhere I have a recycler, and I have to get to that recycler. Spiff just did a self-challenge in Skyrim the game. I think he died to a single random bandit arrow after like 30 days or something. Okay, that's fun. There's just a dude right there. Where's my turret? How do I keep losing this thing? There it is. Literally right here. Anti-red pharma fabrication plan. Operator dispenser. Requesting new operator. I don't think any... Uh, 490 medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear about diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical can handle. I'll have you feeling better soon. All done. You can fill out a service questionnaire. I need to repair my suit. At the front desk. Steel and axe just don't 
Those tree and trees belong to some Yarl. Oh, is this another spacewalk? Do I have to do this like now? Psychotronics, Kaskuse, ba 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 Call back. Run, 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 run away. Hello, Dr. Gil. Well, that went well. Repair three, apparently we can fortify these things. I guess you'd have to steal an axe, but there's usually one lying around near the wood chopping block. Nothing, nothing in there. Probably travel that hot springs area and die from a bee sting. <laughs> I feel like I've missed a lot in this area. Do I need anti-rads? Am I ratted right now? We can make a Neuromod. Let's make a Neuromod. When did... Ugh. When did Vimple start playing Fallout New Vegas? Steal the baby. Don't forget to break down your baby's crib for parts. Oh, look at all that nice stuff that I didn't pick up yet. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Hello. I guess I could have unlocked this door this whole time, huh? Mm, you know, something tells me that if I try and cut across there, I will die. <laughs> Um, what am I doing? Objectives. Access the guts. Psychotronics. I'll have to wear a calibrated psychoscope to get through the lab and reach the guts entrance. Alex is suddenly trying to be helpful. Scanning the Typhon will allow me to install Neuromods, which he thinks will keep me alive. Okay. I guess this is the only thing I haven't looked at. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos One started here. You were 
were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. Okay, buddy. Good, good job, buddy. You did it. You did a good job. Hey, Nerf. Didn't notice your stream. Usually my phone reminds me when I step outside. I, uh... My schedule's been, um... Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I did a little bit of extra for Halloween. Expired plasma bag. Hello. Oh, I remember this. I watched someone else play this game. And there's actually something really fun here. Yeah, I'm sorry, chat, but I, uh, I did have the solution to this puzzle um, spoiled for me. So you don't get to see me uh, not solve it and completely miss what I'm supposed to do here. Here's Johnny. I think I'm going to need that turret. Practicing my Cosmo. You're my only YouTuber sub who ever live streams, so you get special treatment. I haven't muted that no notification yet. Wow, I actually really appreciate that. I'm, uh, I'm considering... Considering, mind you, the possibility of re uh, starting a new discord and then i can have a notification for discord which you can also turn off um and that will possibly be more helpful than uh youtube notifications so you might be able to turn off one and then turn on the other i don't know okay i guess we're doing this Size types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Hey, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. What do you think, Chat? Advanced mimicry? Aaron. Aaron Ingram. Hey. What are you reading? Wait. Rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that. Human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor. I, I mean, this guy, if the, if I'm to believe this is kind of a dipshit. Extract mimic from containment. Release mimic into material extraction chamber. When multiplication process is complete, extract exotic material. It just ain't right, you know? Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Now you're the one person who showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's H714. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation, but it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. 
You know what we discovered? They lack mirror neurons. For all their wonderful abilities, there's one thing we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. That was an important choice. Morgan, did you hesitate? <laughs> at all? I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but... Could you have done otherwise, given the opportunity? The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but... You're human. You have a choice. Welcome to the bad ending. Well, that's what F9 is for. What? <laughs> bad ending is best one. People are quick to Why is this game suddenly very good about saving when I need it to not? Aaron. Aaron Ingram. All right, chat. Good ending. Bad ending. I've deliberately made this confusing for you. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here. <laughs> Human decency for other humans. All you gotta do is open the door. Well, I mean, it doesn't help, Kevbo, that the rest of this entire game has been very much reliant on human survival instincts. I speak a little, but as you can tell, I ain't from there. As you might have guessed. Come on now, God damn it, let me out. Um, and like the only human beings I've met have been garbage. No reason to keep me locked up in here anymore. It makes sense knowing what behind this all. It's it's not a gamer thing. It's a game thing. It's uh, you know like. Well, I got locked up. Behold the wicked. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Besides, you know like. Am I, am I really being kind to him right here? Honestly, personally, I think that um, I did show kindness in a way. His name is Aaron, yes. Uh, you can call, you know, you can call me out if you think that I'm wrong about that, but like, you know, it's not like I'm releasing him to some kind of good situation here. You know? Shotgun, huh? Maybe there's a spare pistol. I'm sure he wasn't a good man, but you freed him anyway. I'm curious if it was compassion or was there some other motive? I can only act in ways that advance my directive. The Typhon can only kill and destroy, but you're human. You have a choice. Yeah, I sure do. Choice is armory or no armory. Choice is chat hates me or chat doesn't hate me. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I'm headed out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. Is there something you're not telling me? No, 
Of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh, I understand. Well, the thing is, Kevbo, is that, you know, it's it's not exactly the gamer as so much as it is the game. You know, it, there, there's no exception here also. Most most games, most every single game, um, it trains us in a way to not have compassion for its own denizens. Also, how do I get in there? I have to get in here somehow. They're whining about killing a proxy animal. I mean, I, you know, I would agree. I think it's more like my complaint isn't necessarily again with the person so much as the games. Um, most of the moral and ethical weight is placed on uh, the killing of said animal. You know, like, and I, it's not like I want to kill an animal. I don't. But usually when you're killing an animal in a game, uh, you're being made, you, you're, you feel bad. Like, you know. Honestly, I don't, I don't ever like killing animals in games. Like, you know, I don't like having to kill, like, the weird bloodborne dogs. Most of the times, dogs are really annoying enemies in the first place. But also, just like, it's, it just sucks, you know? Like, it's, it's not great. We're talking about, I don't know, some chat has gotten uh, rabid over the fact that I killed the, the inmate man. I was afraid of this. The scientists here were in the middle of something when they died. Access to the gut is closed off during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and 70s, the first research teams tried to... It's not sapient life, Kevbo. Don't even pretend. That's that's some, like... That's, like, borderline virtue signaling. I'm, I swear to God. Speech of their own. No language. They don't seem to even see us. Not like we see ourselves. I mean, I'm generalizing when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Not like you. It's live exam procedure in progress. Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. Oh my god. I'm glad I brought my turret. Examination theater compromised. Warning. Examination theater compromised. Alright. I guess I should scan this thing, huh? Warning. Examination theater compromised. Warning. There you go. People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what we discovered? No, a real animal either. Well, I feel bad about it. Because, as I just explained, the game has made me feel bad about it. Because most of the time when you're killing an animal, it's the moral and ethical weight is placed on that. Not on killing a human being. The killing a human being in games has been made like second nature. There's no moral or ethical weight placed on it, unless it's the game is like going out of its way. If they went out of their way in this instance, they did a bad job about it, if I'm being honest. Because, you know, if you're going to say, well, oh, you, you killed Aaron Ingrave, because why? Because he did some bad stuff. I mean, Aaron Ingrave isn't real. And also, um, they did a bad job of explaining or at least placing moral or ethical baggage on that. Because I just released him into hell. Like, this is the worst nightmare I can possibly imagine. So I'm not exactly showing Aaron Ingrave any mercy by letting him live in this. I mean, you know, unless I brought him with me, but that's not an option, right? If I could bring Aaron Ingrave with me and, and like, help him, sure. But the, the, you know, the weight, the moral weight is not actually placed on that part. Research complete. 
So it to me, it just kind of feels like a very empty moral choice. Kind of like, you know, save the children in Bioshock or kill the children in Bioshock. Did any, did you feel bad about that? Like, the moral way is you, you gotta save the kids in Bioshock or you're a bad person. You know, they, they there's a, it's, it's very black and white, I'm afraid. And it's not like I haven't talked at length about, well, like, you know, does, are you a, a bad person or are you not an immoral person in some regard by not taking into consideration that the, the weight of those lives, like, when you're playing, I don't know, Caves of Cud, or if you're playing some kind of, even like Super Mario Bros, and you jump on a Goomba, are you, do you feel bad? Are you, are you, should you feel bad? It's, it's a Goomba, why not? Right? Like, it's only because the game is very arbitrarily putting that moral and ethical weight on it that I'm meant to feel bad. And I don't, because it's a game, and it's the choice is very arbitrary. There's no, there's no actual any moral weight placed on that choice. I'm not saying I'm gonna like go out of my way to be a jerk in a game, but like given a circumstance where like okay, your choices are free this person into you know certain hell or you know don't. I, I don't think there's actually much moral choice there. I'm not going to feel bad about it either. I really tried to do the right thing there and shoot the stupid barrel. But it didn't work. My comment about why releasing that guy is morally wrong got shadow banned. Murderer and child trafficker hardly considered a human. Well, I don't mean I don't like this is this is the dumb thing is I don't believe in the death penalty in real life, but this isn't real life, right? Chad has gotten very uh, kind of self righteous about the fact that I killed the, you know. A person in the game. I, I don't think I've ever been vocal about not wanting to kill animals in the game, but I don't think that it's hypocritical to not want to kill an animal and then not feel bad about killing the human because both are not real and it's really just the moral baggage. It's the moral baggage placed on it by, you know, whatever morality that the uh, devs would prefer that I feel. Come on. I mean, you are being toxic, Kevbo. I, I killed a set of pixels and you're getting all miffed about it. Also, I mean, this uh, crying foul on hypocrisy when, I, I, like, this mentioning of, of killing animals has never come up previously. I, I don't know, it feels a little bit kind of out of nowhere, if I'm being honest. Why? Stop it. I just don't know why I'm supposed to be feeling bad. Feels like it feels like chat is making me uh, feel bad for basically no reason.
Yeah, but why why are you bringing that up, Gevbo? Because you don't like the fact that I killed the person. I, I don't think it is hypocritical. Because of a misunderstanding. He said this choice was black and white. I mean, it is kind of. I guess, like, from my perspective, I don't see many, if any, moral choices in games to be anything but black and white. Very rarely does it feel like there's much of it. There's like a... Um, I don't know that either choice isn't other than like you're the good guy or you're the bad guy and if you want me to explain myself i mean i killed the guy and then the game literally gave me grief because i because i killed the guy right because the game believes that that is the incorrect choice it is morally the incorrect choice as chat believes right now right i am i am a worse person for having committed that right how is that not a black and white choice one one is morally correct and the other one is morally incorrect despite the fact that i've brought up reasons for why killing him would actually be a not a bad necessarily choice in this situation right but okay so it's a morally bad choice i'm a bad person for having done that so i just think it's somewhat disingenuous Make you feel more emotions towards animals than towards humans. I don't think that that's true, Neville. To be honest, I, I appreciate what you're saying. And that's kind of what I'm saying. Uh, I think that there is more moral baggage placed on killing animals in games. Uh, I also think that just from like a human empathy situation, it's... I don't know. I think it's easier for people to connect with animals than it is to connect with people. Like, you don't feel bad killing people in, like, a a, a souls-like. Because most of them are just, like, mindless goons, right? But if you hear, hear a dog dying, even if it's a zombie dog or a cat, though that is not as often, um, you know, it's never going to feel very good. But yeah, I agree. I think there is moral, more moral baggage placed on killing animals in games than people. It's it, and it is generally a cheap shot. I do believe it was a right choice, but there is a hidden layer why games game reacts that way. Well, and just to um, iterate on your on the second part of your comment, Neville, it's kind of hard uh, for me not to read something in what Kevbo's saying when he is talking about YouTubers whining about killing dogs. So, I mean, if I read uh, something in there that I shouldn't have, then you know that's my bad. But.
I mean, either way, I I generally just don't like moral morality in games at all. I think it's really, I don't know. It's really hard to do well. You know, like, uh, what was it? What was the game? The game called Spec Ops: The Line. Wasn't that the one that gets like lauded for its uh, top? You know, talking about morality. That you just you just do things. You just um, act out the game without much thought. Like, it just feels always disingenuous to me in games when there is some kind of moral choice because I'm not being given a choice. I'm not given be- I, I, you're never given a choice when it comes to morality in games. I know it feels like that. You're given the choice between two- you know, it's it's basically the trolley cart every time. You know? Only the game kind of slightly judges you for making, uh, picking a side. Uh, if I did tell you, it would be a major spoiler. Okay. Well, fair enough. The shoes of the actor or victim. Right. I mean, I agree with you in theory, Neville, but my, my problem is that half the time it's done, it's done, you know... Badly. You don't have to agree with the maker of the game, though. Just explore. I mean, I don't have to agree with the maker of the game, but half the time, if I don't, the game is, like, willing guilt onto me. You know what I mean? Dishonored. Basically, if you kill people, the world gets worse, and you can't get the good ending, which traps you from actually having fun. Which is why it's fun to watch you play. Um, I mean, like, I don't know. There, there's no, there's no real good end here, guys. Like, I just, um, I, I think that. A game can have kind of deeper themes, but generally they don't. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. And it's generally also why I personally have not really given much more thought to the moral choices I make in games, because that's what games have trained me to do. They've trained me to turn my brain off in terms of moral, cho moral choices. Because most of the time, 
that's what you're meant to do if you want to, you know, progress mechanically speaking. I can understand why that seems uh, like almost sociopathic. Maybe that's what is being criticized here. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily entirely on me. I think at some point I, I blame I blame games in general. I mean, like they're very logical in nature. You make the logical choice, not necessarily the moral or ethical choice. Um, that's usually what is being asked of the player: make the lo the logical choice, not necessarily the ethical choice. So much fun tool, but all of them murder in some ways or another. Like we were, uh, we were talking about KOTOR earlier today. And, um, KOTOR is actually really interesting with its moral choice system, but it still feels like a black and white system. It's like you can either be the biggest jerk you've ever met in your life or be the biggest saint ever. And it really is just pick one. Just pick one. There is no gray. There's there's no um there's no gray. So do whatever, you know, gets you the thing and and uh progresses you in some kind of meaningful way. Something tells me if I do this, that fan's going to start spinning. Man. I like being able to be a bad person in video games, and especially when the games reflect upon it. I didn't have to do that at all, did I? Let me guess, this door is going to close on me when I come close to it? No? I guess if I, I have a, a... Okay... The heck was that? Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos One that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully, the generator isn't dying. For your sake, I'll be fine. If there is a if there is heat here that I delivered upon Kevbo, I am I am sorry. Um, I'm sure he's not watching anymore, but that's okay. I'm you know, I'll, I'll apologize to him next time. I guess, um, you know, from our perspectives or our differing perspectives when it comes to mor morality in games, uh, I, I can get a little bit heated if I think that not only am I make being judged by the game, but I'm also being judged by other people for something that, uh, you know, by and large doesn't really matter, then kind of sucks from my perspective. So there's... Uh, ho hope that maybe clears the air a little bit. Sorry about that. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this game. Aaron Ingram, if one thing can be placed on on him, it's that he completely derailed this game. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I pressed the wrong button, damn it. <sighs> Search for Bellamy's corpse in Trauma Center. Kept some psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. Apparently Bellamy's corpse is in the trauma center and might still have the key card in his to his cabin. Well, I don't know if that's Cargo's tunnels entry doors require a key card. Anders 
Klein in the magnetosphere control room has access. Okay. Yeah, where? Uh-huh. All right. How come I can't hack this key card? Okay. Oh, magnetosphere. Okay. There you go. There's no, uh... I still don't know how to get rid of these. There you go. <laughs> Killing Aaron didn't really matter on the ending. You have to do much more than to earn that one. Oh. Yeah, I really, uh... Really kind of cursed that entire situation at this point. Hey, did I not take that upgrade? Oh, I do have the upgrade. I've, I've already filled up the inventory space. The current goal, I yeah, you got me. I don't know. Not get toxic with chat. That's the current goal. I I'm looking for a key card from someone who's in the magnetosphere. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. What? No. Three, two, one. Oh my God! Really? I accidentally hit the lock button.
Hacking three rec oh. What? I thought I had hacking three. Oh, no, I didn't get it yet. Okay, let's get it. As far as uh, hacking minigames go, this one's not the worst, but it's not not terribly interesting either. Grant access. What's the current goal? I don't know. We're getting a key card, so we can get into the arboretum. Warning. Plasma warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Oh, was that a bad thing I just did? Should I not be doing this one? Download area map. Nice. Uh, who am I looking for? Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. I'm trying to do something here, bud. Where is Magnetosphere? <sighs> okay, um, objectives... Anders Klein. He's dead inside the magnetosphere chamber. That's why I have to turn off the magnetosphere. He he's literally right there. Okay. All right. I don't know why I keep thinking I can go in there. Uh, map. Oh, I have to go up the stairs. I don't know why I didn't get burned just now, but that's fine. Oh, good. Cryptoid nests. Really? That, uh, that was very effective. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Five, four, so I'm gonna have to three, run in there and get it before one of these shockwaves. Where is he? Yo, where is he though? Oh, there he is. Shockwave imminent. Okay. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three. Okay. Two, one.
Excuse me, do not come at me through the floor like that. That's weird. Plasma shockwave imminent. Hello, are you here for an appointment? Don't be coming at me through the ground. What is that? No path. Surprisingly lenient. Is it going to turn out that? We're, we're actually a mimic that is so good at mimicking that we've basically become human. And the reason that uh, we're making moral choices is that we can either become more like the, uh, the, the, the Typhons. This, uh, this game kind of remind, r reminds me of a, a movie I watched as a kid. can't remember what it was called. I think it was called Shriekers or something. Um, about these, like... These people is post-apocalyptic, uh, post-apocalyptic. Post apparently, I cannot speak right now. Post-apocalyptic movie. People are surviving a wasteland, and um, these creatures are. Uh, oh, ouch! Sort of learning to become more and more human-like. Until they become so human-like that they uh, begin to mimic the morality as well. Okay, what what is... What am I supposed to be doing here? What? Okay, that's a new one. Fear. This area looks more colorful. <laughs> Nemesis, I appreciate your patience uh, as uh, we play pretty gruesome game, I guess. I'm not sure. Did you have you played this one? I forgot I we have a shotgun now. Can you hear me? Sir? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay and those things. Okay, we're going to drop this so that I can pick up eel scraps. All over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam, he's right. These things Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. All right? Understood. 
I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can work myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe, then call. Still trying to get to the abortum. Man, I really need some inventory space back. I guess I could grab some more inventory space now. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, my banana peel. I, I should go back for it. I have new inventory space. I could go back for my banana peel. Banana. You dropped a banana peel. Uh-oh. Someone might slip. <laughs> slip right in space. Look, look like that guy right there. We're finally in the abortum. Bad ending achieved. I never played Prey. Has anyone played the original Prey? Because this game, I mean, obviously, there's a whole story about why this game is even called Prey, but has anyone played the original one? Because it's like nothing like this. <laughs> Prey was one, of, it was a weird game because it was one of those games that was like kind of hyped up and was in development hell for a few years. <coughs> Not quite as bad as, like, Duke Nukem Forever, but pretty bad. You made it. Nice work. The entrance to deep storage is off the Arboretum. Oh, God! <laughs> I wonder where the mimic is. Well, trying to watch. I mean, yeah, fair. Is up here as well. Jupiter in his palace at the top of the heavens. He used to say that behind his back. But that would make you what? Neptune? Pluto. Yo, that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. I promise more wholesome games soon, Mimesis. It's uh it's been a lot, I know. I'm 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 enjoying a lot of it, but it's it's I also, you know, appreciate games that are are not just like kill and destroy and hide from goons. I own the original, but I haven't played it just yet. I actually heard it's very good and very creative. I watched my dad play a lot of it back in the day and um, he really enjoyed it. He beat it. I watched him beat it. I, I, I know the ending, but I haven't played it myself. It's an interesting game. It's It's got some interesting quirks that a lot of games do not. Um, they they kind of sidestep. Okay, we can make another Neuro mod. Let's go ahead and do that. Always and forever. Funny jump scare time. We can do another one. Let's do another one. Oh, we can do another one. Let's do another one. Yo, we can do another one. Let's do another one. 
Yo, we can do another one. Let's do another one. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can't get any more any ammo. How's my suit doing? Suit's fine. My health is not great though. Uh, can we do health kit? Yeah, we can. Oh, we can do another one. Let's do another one. So, guys, um, I think this is it. Like, I think we're done. Stream? It's five o'clock for me. And this is a really good place to stop. I don't know what that is. Are you all right? That Typhon. There's nothing in the research. Stay away from it. Oh, I want to research it though. Yeah, we Bioshock now. Um, it's been a good stream, uh, despite. You know, everything. I hope that y'all have enjoyed. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. No. I, I will not look into that, actually. Um, Kevbo's still watching. I, you know, let's, uh, we'll bury the hatchet. And no hard feelings. Hope, hope you don't resent me. And, uh, are we a mad lad stream on weekends or can I rest safely? Uh, I'm going to say no stream this weekend. I really want to get some recording and editing done. I'm, as I say, trying really hard to actually like make some, you know, good content. Um, but anyway, 